All right guys, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Rinky silicone case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, a little bit of a spoiler alert, I've actually been using this case for a few days now. I did package it back up and found a way to open this back up without ripping this top so I can do that on video. But I've really been enjoying this case and this is probably one of their best cases, if not their best in my opinion. So let's check it out. Now, starting off with the packaging, it says Rinky, live a better day. You get a little more eco packaging information right there. And on the back, you have a little more information there about Rinky and their little slogan right there. So the way I took it out was I actually opened this little thing right here and this does open up, but I figured for the video, I would close everything back up and we could just rip that open right here. I haven't had a chance to do that on camera yet with a rinky case. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and open the packaging. So very simple packaging as always from rinky, set that off to the side. And on the inside here, we get a little 20% off of your next purchase from Amazon. So some instructions on how to do that right there. And as per usual, you get the rinky product catalog in this brochure. So let's go ahead and set that off to the side and take a look at our case. Now, like I said, I have been using this for a few days now and it's a really, really nice case. I hope that you guys can see everything with the case. I know it's gray on a gray background, but we'll just have to work through that. But anyways, on the back, of course, you get this very nice smooth silicone material and you do get this camera ring right here, which is also silicone. Everything here is silicone and I really like that they have the individual camera cutouts here, which these are a lot better in my opinion, because even though the flash and the LiDAR scanner still stick out a little bit more, it's silicone, so it gets a little bit of a better grip onto the phone, and I think it'll help prevent the dust as well, which by the way, this is also coated with like an oil-based coating that'll prevent it from getting dirty over time and things like that, so that's always really nice on a silicone case, these things can get dirty. So I like that they do have that, but you can't really feel any kind of oil coating. This just feels like really nice, smooth silicone. So moving on to the inside, we have a nice microfiber lining on the inside. So if you drop it, that'll help you with a little bit of protecting the back of your phone. You do have the MagSafe magnet as well as your alignment magnet there. And it says it's liquid silicone, there and it says that right here as well, liquid silicone with polycarbonate and suede. So this is a suede material, not really microfiber, but it feels very nice. And you get a little bit more information right there. Now going around the sides, you get that suede material that comes all the way around the sides as well. And on your button areas, it is just silicone. So you don't have to worry about anything with those buttons. They're gonna work just fine. And that's pretty much what you get all silicone and this uh, suede material. Now this does have a polycarbonate frame, so it's not gonna be as you know flimsy as a lot of silicone cases and things like that. This has a good bit of you know durability to it, and I like that. So before we go ahead and put our phone in here, let's grab our scale as per usual. We'll go ahead and weigh this. Let's see. We are on grams, come on. Let's see. Okay. I gotta get a new scale. Something's going on with this one. But anyways, we'll set that down. We're looking at 42 grams. So not too light, not too heavy. You guys know how it is. Anywhere between that like 30 and 45-ish grams area is gonna be a medium weight type of case. So 42 grams on this one, it's actually a very good case as far as the weight distribution and everything. It doesn't feel heavy at all. So let's go ahead and take our Black Titanium 15 Pro Max. We'll slap it in here. Now this is a silicone case, so you're not really gonna get much of a click. Very unimpressive click, but that's not to worry because this case actually fits very well on this phone. So taking a look at those corners, now these are silicone, so you're not gonna get a really big snap or anything like that on them, but they're a little bit tighter than most of Rinky's other cases, which is really nice because you can kind of feel a lot more confident with this case if you were to drop it or anything like that it'll be good to go and this definitely will not come out. It's a much tighter fit onto the phone and I really like that. Based on Rinky's other cases, this has a way better fit onto the phone. So you saw those corners, look at the sides as well. I mean, these are very nice sides. You gotta give it a good bit of pressure before you can even move them a little bit. Now, of course, with the buttons, you're gonna get a little bit more give, but that's usually on most other cases as well. Your top bottom has a little bit and the top is pretty much as stiff as the sides are. So you've got a little bit of give right here on the bottom and around the buttons, but I haven't noticed any kind of deformation with these 
bottom areas or the buttons. Everything has been good. The fit has been very good on here and it's been very comfortable to use. Even with these buttons, I don't, haven't noticed anything getting in between here, nothing like that. It's been very nice and I've really been enjoying it. So let's step around the case now. So on the top of the case, we do have it completely closed in. On the left hand side, we have our action button, volume up and down and completely closed in the rest of it. Let's listen to how those buttons sound. Very nice clicky buttons. Now you're clicking the actual buttons on the phone with the silicone buttons here. There is no relief slits or anything like that, but no issues clicking them whatsoever. It's been very nice to click those buttons. Now moving along to the bottom of the phone, we do have accurate dot cutouts. So it's not a full cutout for the microphone or the speaker. It's just these dots with a USB type C port right there. Nice cutout for that. And let's bring over our anchor cable and go ahead and oh, drop that a little bit. Go ahead and plug this in. There we go, we are charging. And as you can see, it's got a pretty decent size USB type C port. I do wish it was a little bit wider, but a thicker headed cable will definitely fit in here. If this anchor cable fits, most of your other cables should definitely fit. So shouldn't be an issue at all with that. And moving along to the right hand side, it's completely closed in with that power button right there. So how does this case feel in the hand? And it's very comfortable to hold. The bottom of it, which is a big test for me, down here is not sharp at all. So if you hold your phone like this, you'll have no issues very comfortable, not slippery whatsoever. You've got great silicone grip going in every single inch of this phone case. So no matter how you're holding it, it hasn't slipped out whatsoever. And also what's nice about this one is it has not been drawing basically any lint out of my pockets. Now, like I said, been using it for a couple days and going in and out of my pocket, my front pockets, my back pockets, laying on the couch and stuff. I haven't had any lint really get attracted to it. I've got a little bit just from right down here you know, a little dirt right there, but that wipes right off, of course. And, you know, it's very nice and it's very different from Apple silicone case to where that thing attracts every single piece of lint that you'll find in all of your pockets, on your couch, on the floor. It's somehow, it's like a lint vacuum and it just gets it all on there. This case is not like that, which I love that. That's like my biggest gripe about silicone cases is that they just attract a bunch of lint, but this one, you will be good to go for that. And also, of course, you're gonna get some good, and also, of course, you're gonna get some good MagSafe from Rinky. So let's go ahead and test that out. We'll have our Apple MagSafe wallet, attach that. There's our animation and no issues of movement whatsoever. You can put this in your pocket, your purse, your sling bag. This thing's not coming off unless you really want it to. You gotta force it off for this to really come off. So very nice on that. Now let's bring over the Apple MagSafe battery pack. Now this is gonna be silicone on silicone. Let's see how this does. There we go, nice secure click on there. Did you hear that? That's very strong. And of course, that's not going anywhere. Give it a good shake as, you know, as hard as you want to. The Rinky's got you covered with those magnets, especially with the silicone base. I mean, you can sit here and really just, you know, shake this very well. It's not coming off unless you want it to. And then finally, of course, bringing over our Anchor 623. Let's check that out. So we'll pick it up and you can even give it a little bit of a shake before this comes off. So pretty decent MagSafe on here. And then we can do our 360 degree rotation test. So if you're sitting here, you're scrolling through TikTok, whatever you're doing, no problems at all with that. Typing around, clicking around, doing whatever you're doing, no issues there. You can text, type, poke around, no problems at all. And then also if you wanna switch it over and watch your favorite Brian's tech video or some other YouTube videos, anything like that, no issues whatsoever. I'm just gonna hold that down and you can really sit here and even give it a good press on just about any side and this thing will be good to go. So it's gonna pass that 360 degree rotation test with flying colors. There we go. So with all that being said, do I recommend this case? And yeah, I do. I mean, we're talking about 1999, 20 bucks on this one. And by the way, I'll leave the link down in the description below to this case. It comes in a bunch of different colors. It does come in gray, which is this right here, comes in deep blue, pink sand, stone, which is like a lighter gray, and a sunny lime, which is like a lemon lime, green kind of yellowish green kind of color. Comes in a bunch of different nice looking colors and 20 bucks on this one. You've got that inside suede lining, the polycarbonate frame, the good mag safe. You've got that cover for your camera. Let's take a look at that camera bump and the screen lip as well. So with the camera, not only do you get the each individual cutouts, 
uh, you guys can see right there, you also get a pretty nice camera lip on there. So you can definitely set this down on any surface. And of course with the silicone, that shouldn't get really messed up at all. So you'll be good to go to set it down this way on any surface. Same thing with the screen lip. Now I am using a tempered glass screen protector. And of course you're still getting a pretty nice screen lip from this case on your phone. So no problem, set that down, you'll be good to go. I wouldn't set it on any jagged surfaces, but any other surface like that, you'll be fine. Good to go on this one. So $20 on the Rinky silicone case. I do recommend this. I'll be sure, like I said, to leave those links down in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Have you ever tried the Rinky silicone or any of Rinky's other cases? I've really been liking this one. I think this is my favorite case that Rinky makes. So let me know what you guys think about it. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're interested in another great silicone case option that's not the Apple silicone case, I'll leave that right there. And if you really care about Apple silicone, that video is gonna be there.